Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video, and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, if you're celebrating. If you're not, I uh, hope you're having a great end of the year, going into 2021 strong. Uh, but as you can see, I did celebrate Christmas today, and I got quite the gaming haul, slash movie haul. There's also something off to the side that is probably... The best item here, in my opinion at least. Anyway, I got a ton of stuff for Christmas. I had a great Christmas. A lot of stuff not really pertaining to what I do on YouTube, like video games and, and movies and things like that. A lot of sports-related stuff that I just feel like you guys wouldn't be interested in seeing, so I narrowed it down so this video wouldn't be a half hour long to my top, um, I guess, entertainment gaming stuff relating to this channel. And as you can see... We have quite the lineup here, so we're going to be going through and unboxing a lot of these, starting with this bad boy right front and center, this PlayStation Lite that I saw on GameStop um, during Black Friday and had to hold myself off from getting. I had just gotten my PS5, and my mom was already mad looking, you know, she's like, what am I going to get you for Christmas? So I said, okay, I'll hold off for a little bit. I'll get this. The reason this is so cool is look at this. I know the light's still on, but you can... See how it lights up. I'm going to have to try and find a place in my room to put it uh, where it fits in my webcam display. So you guys can see it in the back of your videos. But let's get this open. And I believe there's a plug in the back. So there's no batteries or anything like that that needs to be charged. And I just got to cut these two wires. And yes, here is... Oh, it's a USB. That makes it... A heck of a lot easier on my end. Be sure not to cut that wire. Although I'm sure I'm gonna have to. Well anyway, here it is. I am gonna have to figure out what to do with this. I don't want to cut anything I'm not supposed to, but here's the PlayStation light. There's a button over here that you're gonna press to, to turn it on. Very snazzy. Uh, next we'll start with a game that is not on the wall behind us. I couldn't fit it in frame, but it's definitely a game that I'm looking forward to playing. Ghost of Tsushima uh, just came out a couple of months ago on the PS4. This is actually the last PS4 exclusive, although I wish Last of Us Part Two had that title. Ghost of Tsushima came out just a couple of weeks, actually, after uh, Last of Us Part Two did. Um, and this is the true last PS4 exclusive game. Um, and I don't think it's being ported to the PS5, at least not yet, so I figured I would get it, the PS4 version, to play on the PS5, just while I wait for the remaster that hopefully comes to be. Didn't get a whole lot of love at the Game Awards, unfortunately, but my man, The Last of Us Part Two, Naughty Dog, came in clutch. A storm is coming in the late 13th century, blah blah blah, you can read the rest of that, pause it if you want, basically, um, you are a... Chinese samurai defending your uh, homeland from the Mongolian invaders is basically what I'm gathering from this. Here is the disc. No reverse cover art, um, unfortunately. Hey, look at that. Last was part two available now. PS4 and Predator Hunting Grounds. Um, so that's Ghost of Tsushima. I'm sure you guys have seen this, uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to doing a playthrough of that. Maybe on Twitch, live, so you can go check me out if you want to see that. Next up, we will move to Super Mario 3D All-Stars, another oldie. Um, came out back in September, and I know Skytune is going to be super, super hype. I was actually hyped when this was revealed back at that mini direct, um, whatever it was called. There goes Spider-Man. That's okay. Uh, super Mario Galaxy, those of you that don't know, is my favorite Mario game ever. Super Mario 64 is very close behind. I've never actually played Sunshine, so I guess I'll play through that as well. But I am looking forward to playing through this these games again, despite the negative feedback that they got. Uh, I am actually looking forward to, to playing through Galaxy, playing through 64 again on the Switch. Pop this open. Here is the cartridge. And the inside art, which I'm sure you've seen if you watch Skytoon's YouTube channel. I know he's psyched that I got this. 
finally because it's limited edition it's only out till march so definitely pick this up if you're thinking about it uh super happy to have gotten this then we got my man peter parker he just fell spider-man far from home looking for the spider-man 3 trailer which didn't drop today it was rumored to drop on christmas or at least a sneak preview at spider-man 3 multiverse or whatever it's going to be called uh it did not drop that's fine. In the meantime, I will watch this on beautiful 4K ultra high definition. Here's the front cover art, the side, as well as the back. It's also got the special features, as you can see. Short film, Peter's to-do list, some bloopers and deleted scenes. All these extras that I do enjoy getting in the DVD releases they don't get if you stream it live. There is my digital movie, which you all are free to redeem. Here is the Blu-ray, and here is the 4K discs. You got Night Monkey, is that what he's called, on the on the Blu-ray, which I like a lot. And then you got the Iron Spider um, here on 4K. Both really, really sharp-looking discs. Definitely going to be playing this, playing this, watching this, uh, maybe later tonight? Or maybe not, because there's... As I said, another 4K movie or movies that we are saving for last. In the meantime, though, we'll go to Madden 21 Next Level Edition. Um, I get every Madden game for the most part, either for the Xbox or for the PlayStation. This year, had to hold out. Otherwise, I would have had this already. Um, but they didn't release the Next Level Edition until a couple of weeks ago, mid-December, PS5 version, which is... Basically, from what I'm understanding, a completely new version of the game, specifically designed for next gen. So, you got Lamar on the cover. I, I really like the color scheme, the next level edition. It's different from most of your other Madden covers um, from years past. Field game day every day. You got DeAndre Hopkins on the back, who just lit up my Eagles last week. I don't really want to talk about it. Feel the movement, feel the precision, feel the energy. This looks really, really good. This does look like a step up. I know Madden games tend to not really progress any way, um, you know, from year to year. Not a lot of sports games do, but I do feel like the next level does take a jump. And especially with the uh, adaptive triggers, I think we'll also sort of have a say in um, just the overall, I guess, inclusion or the immersion you know, when a player's fatigued, you have to press harder on the sprint trigger, that sort of thing. Very, very neat. There's your disc, and here is a digital code. Yeah. So I'm going to blur that out, or I'll just redeem it quick before I show you guys, or before I post this video. But that is my bonus digital content. There it is. Next level content. Bam. Then, thank goodness for this game, which quickly took the title of most controversial release of 2020. Otherwise, it would be The Last of Us Part Two. So thank you, Cyberpunk, for making people somewhat forget about The Last of Us 2 controversy. This is the PS4 version, but as I said, I do have a PS5, so I will be playing the PS5 digital upgrade. Okay, so wherever the code is in here, I'm going to have to blur that out because that is my only chance at playing a finished, polished game. But as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in this box. This is, I guess, the pre-ordered bonus. I'm not really sure if this came with every game, uh, but it is really sick. So you can see we got the two Blu-ray discs, probably the installation disc, and then the actual gameplay disc. World, World Compendium, whatever that is, stickers, postcards, and a game map as well as the digital content. So we're going to slice this packaging open. I've been waiting to do this all day, but I did want to make the video for you. I've been hyped for Cyberpunk for a couple of years now, especially last year once Keanu was revealed for it. Um, you know, my hype just kind of went off the charts. I can show you guys the back here. You see Night City changes everybody. The space in between there is very very important because it really is every body the character customization is out of this world you can customize some really nasty things as you can see from this nudity in the m17 rating 
Uh, it's open world action adventure set in Night City. Obsessed with power, glamour, and body modification. Again, body changes, that sort of deal. Seems like it's going to be crazy and ridiculous and overall just a whole lot of fun. So I am really looking forward to playing that. And I love the sleeve that you get. Much, much, much well um, appreciated. Here's the actual game, which we will again get to in a second. This is pretty heavy, so there's a booklet or two in here as well as my digital contents. But here are your extra things. This is the postcard that I was talking about. Here is more postcards, so a lot of postcards, actually. And a ribbon. Very cool. I believe this is the Night City map, I would say. And here is the World Compendium, so... Okay, I see. So this just kind of tells you a little backstory about Night City. Birth of Night City, Aftermath. Gives you a timeline. You can see uh, we're set. It leads us up to 2077. When this is set, gives you present day. So that's really cool. I'm going to have to read through this uh, off camera. Here's some of your weapons and uh, implants sort of things. Very cool. I did not know that that was in there. I'm going to have to read through because otherwise I think I would be very lost. And here is, I'm going to have to put a picture in because my camera doesn't zoom out this far. But it is the entire map of Night City, or at least half of it, it looks like. No, it's the full thing. You can't tell. Again, I will put a picture in of the full thing. Uh, that is awesome. That's super cool. Gonna have to find a place to hang that up. And then we got the actual game, which I'm gonna have to hold this very steady to blur out any digital codes. Okay, it's not right away. So I'm gonna just pull these out, and we'll get to them in a second. Um, looks like... Oh, hold on. Hold on a second here. I'm curious if this... It is. So... Assassin's Creed Valhalla did a very similar thing with their reverse cover art. As you can see, here's the male sort of uh, protagonist baseline before you do all your body modifications. On the main cover art, the reverse cover art is the female counterpart uh, to that. I think also named V, if you look here. Literally V. <laughs> so, um, but that's, that's very awesome. That's pretty cool. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is the first time I saw a game do that. And it's cool to see it happen again. Here is the data disk, which installs everything, I believe. And then you have your play disk right here. So I don't actually see a digital code in here. You just have sort of a welcome to Night City little intro by CD Projekt Red Team. Um, telling you about Cyberpunk and obviously how they've been waiting for this for a long time. Got your stickers. So that is Cyberpunk 2077. And with that... Everything except for my most anticipated, probably my favorite gift that I received. And that is da, 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 a book. Not actually. It looks like a book, right? The Lord of the Rings Motion Picture Trilogy. They just came out with the 4K Collector's Edition sets back in the beginning of the month. So you may have already seen an unboxing of this. Um, but my goodness, those of you that don't know, The Lord of the Rings is hands down my favorite film series of all time, and the movies are my favorites uh, as well. I love them, and I don't have them in 4K. Look at this. You got the map of Middle-earth there, from the Shire to Gondor, all the way to Mordor down there in the bottom right, and everything in between. Absolutely beautiful. You also have... The Ring of Power itself, right here, which you can take out. Look at that. You've got the inscription of the One Ring. How incredible is this? I did not know this was included in this set. Um, that is awesome. To take this out, and then here you have the movies, which come in this giant 4K box. You see, again, the motion picture trilogy, 4K, Ultra HD. I love this box art with, again, the ring insignia uh, on the box, sort of in cat in, in, in encircling Mount Doom. Very cool. And on the back, Academy Award-winning director, Peter Jackson's extraordinary trilogy in stunning 4K. All three theatrical and extended movies 
So splitting into nine discs, one for each movie theatrically and two for each movie extended. And there's some stills from some of the movies as well. And here are your run times. Are you ready, folks? The extended version is the way to go. If you don't watch the extended versions as a true fan, I feel like you're doing an injustice to these films. 228 minutes is the shortest of the three. That's The Fellowship. The final film, Return of the King, is four and a half hours long, nearly, at 263 minutes. These take a while to watch. But I will be binging them at some point over the rest of my winter break. <laughs> Here's pretty much the same thing out of the sleeve. And you open it up. And my digital code, which I'm going to blur out real quick. And here you have your discs. Fellowship, theatrical. Two Towers, theatrical. Return of the King, theatrical. Love the color schemes. You got the green, the red, and the blue. And then here are your extended editions. Split again into two discs. Extended version, or extended disc one. Extended disc two for Fellowship. You your two extendeds for Two Towers here. And then finally for Return of the King split into your two discs. The reason I like this is because if you combine them into one disc, yeah, there's no intermission. But again, this movie here is four and a half hours long, so split into two discs, it gives you good intermission to sort of use the bathroom, get a drink, get a snack, and kind of stretch a little bit um, instead of sitting through nearly five hours of, of a film. Also, it doesn't compress the uh, the movie at all. It doesn't compress the video, so it it, it is you know, the it is truly 4K. If it was combined into one disc for each film, there's no doubt in my mind that it would not be true 4K experience, uh, which I definitely want. This is the prize jewel of my Christmas haul, for sure. There you guys have it. I should have had a face cam. You could have seen my beautiful Christmas hat. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have, rating would be super duper very much appreciated. Other than that, I know this is probably coming out out at least a day or two later uh forgive me but that is a lot to go through and edit and i'm going to be playing and watching these movies and games so hopefully you can forgive me there hope you guys enjoyed your holiday season regardless of whether you celebrate or not um and enjoy the rest of your year we're coming to a close and this is probably one of this is probably the last video where i talk to you guys in 2020 so I'll see you in the new year. I will have some celebratory end of the year videos like I do every year. But those are already pre-made and, and I don't actually talk to you guys in them. So with that being said, thank you for a great year on my channel, not IRL. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. We'll catch you guys in 2021.